Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a review. This is my Dollar Treat Review Friday. So there were a few things that I reviewed this week that I hauled this week. And so I'm gonna tell you whether I like them or whether I don't, but like with all my reviews, you guys, if you have the same opinion or different or anything, let everybody know. That way you can get kind of my take on things, other people's take, and then you can kind of decide for yourself whether you want to spend your dollar on this product or not. I know it's just a dollar, but dollars do add up, and if I can help you guys save money, I'm all about that. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do that. Let's get in to this review. The first thing that I did pick up, this is the Assured for Men, and this is their beard comb. So this is what the package looks like. And if you guys know my husband, he's been on my channel quite a bit. And he has a beard, he loves beard men products. I mean, he's obsessed with like the oils. I mean, you name it, shampoos. He is just obsessed with it. And he's quite picky on his beard comb. So I was kind of like, oh, are you going to like this? You guys, he loves this. So it it's like wood. It really is super nice. The, the comb is perfect. My husband put some beard oil on here and it just smells good. It makes his beard smell really good. So I got my husband's beard comb, I think, on, yeah, it was on Amazon, it's really nice, it looks like a fish, let me, let me go find it real fast for you guys so that I can kind of compare the two. Okay, so this is my husband's beard comb, he loves this one, it is wood, I did get this on Amazon, I think I paid like 15 bucks, but he says it's just as good, now this one obviously is a little bit more, it's heavier, a little bit better quality in the weight and stuff, but I mean, if you guys can see, I mean, they're really, they look, I mean, similar. So I think this is really good. My husband thinks it's great as well. I don't know if I can find this. If you look on Amazon, they have so many different ones and um, I just, my husband loves to fish, so I thought this was great, but for a dollar, you guys, it's great, so highly suggest that. I think if my husband likes it, yours would too because he's beyond picky. He really is. He likes good stuff, so yes to that. Okay, so let's talk about the Tropical Pineapple. This is the Body Yogurt After Shower Cream. This is by Bolero. Now, this is what it looks like. Now, the smell is okay. It's not as good as the body wash. It is watery, which, I mean, that's kind of just expected with Bolero. Let me kind of show you guys. Can you guys see that? It is kind of watery. Not as watery as some. Um, I did use it this week for after I took a shower. I waited until my body was dry and then I put it on. It's not bad. I mean, it's Bolero. The stuff's cheap. So it's not like amazing I mean, sometimes it's, well, I don't know, it's not like, woohoo, like super, super great, but it does the trick. I guess you guys kind of know what I'm saying. Um, and I always can do a video of my favorite, you know, products that I use as well. If you guys want me to, I can do a whole, I mean, series of just things, not just Dollar Tree that actually I love, and they're not too expensive. Some are a little on the expensive side, but if you want me to do videos like that, I definitely can. So please let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll work on that because I have so many things that I love that are just, you know, not just from the Dollar Tree. But it's not that, it's not bad. I mean, my skin felt great. The scent does not last that long on it, so if you're someone who doesn't like long-lasting scents, that might be, you know, a good thing because you moisturize and then if you're putting perfume or other things on, you don't want to, I mean, smell <laughs> crazy, you know, with all this extra stuff on. But it did the trick. I mean, my skin felt soft. It is watery. I wouldn't suggest putting it on with your wet skin because it's just going to make a mess. But I mean, for a dollar, it's okay. I mean... 
it's it's Dollar Tree, it's Bolero, so you know how that is. I mean. And the next thing though that I did try, this is the shampoo. A lot of you guys wanted me to try the clarifying. I can do that for you. And the next Friday update that I just opened this one. This is the watermelon and mint. This is the refreshing shampoo and conditioner. It says twice concentrated free of parabens and dyes and this is what this looks like so if you guys know i'm kind of picky on my shampoo also i've i've tried these in the past didn't like them i skipped the last time when they had the the shampoo and conditioner out and this one this time i just decided to pick it up so okay i i use both shampoo and conditioner this is my hair after i used it so it doesn't weigh down my hair. It's nice and, you know, bouncy. A lot of times when I use shampoo and conditioner, the second day or that the next day when I, you know, style my hair, it is a little way down and then the next day it like bounces up. With these shampoos, it doesn't do that. It just I love the way my hair performs after I wash this. Now when I wash my hair, it doesn't give any, you know, it doesn't foam, it doesn't, you know, lather up, Base, it doesn't really do anything. And I kind of feel with this, like after I do it, my hair feels like it's not clean at first and then I give it like a few hours and then it feels clean. Does that make any sense? It's weird. You guys let me know on the shampoo too and conditioner because it is, it doesn't lather which it's, you know, free of all the bad stuff so, but it doesn't feel like squeaky clean after but then after a while it starts to feel clean. It could be me. It just, it totally could be me but it's just, it's a weird thing. But the shampoo, I mean, my hair feels now clean. It's been, you know, I've styled it. It feels clean. It doesn't feel way down. Um, the conditioner is really great. I love the conditioner because I use this on my daughter because she's seven and her hair is long and it just, she's a hard player. And I mean, she gets knots and just her hair gets tangled. It's like pin, like pin straight and it, it gets everywhere because of the knots. I don't know what her hair, just her hair loves to look like, an, uh, you know, a rat's nest. It really does. It is crazy. And this stuff takes it right out. So, I mean, it's okay. I mean, is there better shampoo and conditioner out there? Absolutely. But for the Dollar Tree, it's not bad bad and I definitely love how my hair performs after so that's kind of my opinion on this you please let everybody know on how you like it but that's kind of where I'm at with that one I did try two of these so I hauled a few actually I think I hauled all of them I tried the pineapple and I also tried the fresh watermelon now all of them smell super good. This is what this looks like. I I really don't have any problems with this. I mean, it cleans my body. I yeah, it does smell good. Now, I don't think the scent lasts that long on your skin also, but I like to use this for bubble bath. I think that it does actually do a nice little bubble bath. It doesn't last like super long, but it's nice. I like it for that and I'll use it for body wash. So let me kind of show you guys. So here's my little poof. Here, this Can you guys see? It is, see, it is watery. Um, it is definitely watery, but it does make a good lather. Now, obviously I put on a lot to kind of show you how watery it is. Let me wet this and then I'll show you how it lathers and foams up. Okay, so I just wet it, it's kind of, okay, just wet it, and then, so can you guys see, I mean, it foams, it's not like super crazy, but, see, it foams up, and it smells really good, um, yeah, it does. It smells super good. So I really don't have a problem with it. 
And I mean, I used a lot, and there's a lot on here. So, just in case you guys were kind of wondering, does it lather up? Does it... My body feels clean off of it. I mean, body wash is body wash to me. I mean, like I said, obviously, there's better out there, but it does the trick. It smells good. And uh, if you're looking to save a few bucks on your body wash, I have no problems with this one. Okay, so let's talk about the new bath bombs that I have been hauling. I've been finding new ones, so there's a whole bunch of these. So the ones that I tried this week, I tend to try two. That way I can kind of get a gauge on how they perform because I'm sure bath bombs are like the Bolero. They perform differently. You know, some are good, some are not. just depends. So I got this Sweetheart Sprinkles. This is what this one looks like. I did grab several, so I, I used this one. And then I also used the Mermaid Life. So... I didn't like the Sweetheart Sprinkle, the Sprinkles. <laughs> this is the Strawberry Cupcake. So I put it in and it didn't really fizz. It didn't really, it just kinda plopped in there and didn't do much. It didn't turn my bath water any color. A lot of bath bombs will soften up the bathtub and kind of feel like you put lotion in the bath and your like legs get all soft and it feels great. This one I didn't, it didn't, I like the Bolero better than I did this one. So, and I know a lot of you guys liked these and if you've tried them, what ones did you like and what ones did you not like? Because I think they perform differently because... I did try the Mermaid, Mermaid Life one, and it turned my bath a pretty color, and I felt like there was more oil in this one where it softened the bathtub a little bit more than, than this one. So, you guys let me know. I kind of like the Bolero better. I know. Crazy, right? Um, but this wasn't bad. I just, I don't know what happened with the Sweetheart Sprinkles. It just wasn't... I didn't like it. So please, please, please let everybody know which ones you did like, how did it feel, um, what ones did you not like. That way we can just kind of pick the best because in my personal opinion, these, whoo, oh my gosh, they both, they perform so differently. So I'm assuming the rest of the line of the bath bombs do as well, but you guys help everybody out and help me out too. Am I going crazy? Is this, let me know because... Um, I'm curious and I do have more to try so this coming up Friday I can always add the other bath bombs into the review as well as the other um, the clarifying shampoo for you guys and update you next Friday if you guys want me to so that's kind of my opinion on that and then I did try I forgot to add this last time into my review this is the Bic gel pens, the smooth writing ones. This is what the package looks like. They do have so many different colors. You guys, these are awesome. I've been trying to do, well, I've been really getting into planners and now I've had, I've probably, I have like four or five of them for all these different things and they write so well. So if you do see these, I think they would be great for your planner. Cause like I said, they have all different colors, all and they have like your black and, you know, brown as well. But I mean, there's, ooh, that's what that looks like. So it's really pretty. It's smooth writing. It's just, yeah, I really like these. So I think I might go back and get more because they did have a whole bunch of colors. And I think I only got like three packs of them. So they feel great. They write great. They're just nice and comfortable and perfect for planners so heck yes you guys and that is it for my review thank you guys so much for taking out the time and watching my video like I said let everybody know down in the comments please 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 your opinions on everything that I did share with you guys today and then also as well if you guys want me to do videos of like my favorite makeup or products that I'm loving, stuff that I use every day, not just Dollar Tree stuff, my reviews on that, because I try stuff all the time, I can do that as well. So thank you guys, 
I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.